and we started off in the rivers taking water samples and then down into the marine environment and then, then we've changed over to an autonomous boat which is um, a little yellow boat that goes out with, attached with sensors and it can survey the marine environment looking at things like temperature, salinity but also looking at what's on the seafloor and mapping the habitat. Why is this important to, what's the mission? So the main mission is to see, is the Belize River, what land use change that's occurring in the Belize River catchment, is this having an effect on the water chemistry in the Belize River and the water chemistry that's then entering the marine environment? Does this water chemistry reach the reef and is, are the corals being affected by what's changing inland? The reef is an incredibly important um, environment, not only for the corals and the fish and the eco ecologically important environment, but socially economic and importantly important for fisheries, for tourism, and it might be that changes in land use are affecting the coral reef. All the data we collect will be freely available is because we are publicly funded by the UK government. Um, and so the data will be handed over to Coastal Zone, to the University of Belize, um, and it will be how they'd like to use it. Um, the hope is that we would get scientific publications out of the data that we collect. Um, so it will be publicly available data. How has it been so far? What some of the data that you guys have collected? and what, what is it showing? So from just from yesterday we went into the mouth of the Belize River with the autonomous boat attached with CO2 sensors and we found a very high CO2, dissolved CO2 in the mouth of the river which is suggesting that the Belize River is a source of CO2 to the uh, marine environment. Um, it will take up more time to kind of interpret the rest of the data to see is that CO2 reaching the um, coastal, uh, to the coral reefs but um, we are seeing that there is an impact or effect of the Belize River on the marine environment, what that effect is and how far it goes, yeah, we'll, wait. we'll need to get the data once we get back to the UK.